dear students now i am uh, giving you a short uh, introduction to the short story action and reaction by chitra fernando which is a sri lankan experience of english short stories chitra fernando's story action and reaction uh, has been prescribed for your advanced level literature syllabus uh, Unlike other short stories, this is very much Sri Lankan and Buddhist because it is written about that uh, Sinhala Buddhist background. First of all, uh, we should understand that Chitra Fernando doesn't uh, criticize Buddhism. Right? Some uh, people may, uh, wrong, may take wrong understanding that uh, the writer is uh, criticizing Buddhism. No. Or Gautama the Buddha. Neither happens. It. Yes. <clears throat> what she does she is criticizing the way that uh, Sri Lankan Buddhists follow Buddhism. Right? The way the people follow the religion and what religious leaders preach are different. Right? Every religion gives the theme of good life. Every religion uh, guides people to do good things and avoid bad things. However, here wrong perception of the religion and uh, the way the Sri Lankan, Sri Lankan Buddhists follow the religion with their hypocritic views. The protagonist of the story is called Lokunanda, uh, who is uh, known who is known as uh, Payaglahamini. Monks uh, address as Payaglahamini. She is too much religious, right? Occupied to the religion, devoted to the religion. Uh, she is anyway a misanthrope, hmm? rich woman. Uh, and uh, she ruins her life as a result of being attracted to religion too much and her hypocritic behavior. Uh, first of all, we have to think something about the title Action and Reaction. Action and Reaction, uh, as the rough guess, is a scientific term title because uh, according to Newton's third law, every action has its own opposite and equal and opposite reaction. It is physics. But uh, Chitra Fernando being a literary writer can't be expected to deal with that scientific theory. Earlier this was, uh, title was uh, Perfection of Giving. Later it was changed. Protagonist is Lokunanda. Narrator is called Mahinda. Mahinda is a uh, PhD holder in London University. He recalls his past time experience with his father's elder sister who, whom they address as Lokunanda. Right. Uh, to analyze the whole story, it wants uh, more than I think six hours. Right in a class, uh, it should take about six hours to discuss this. But I just give some short uh, analysis. Okay, mind the flashback story. He says, in my family, everyone regarded my father's elder sister as a very good and generous woman. Everyone, yes, uh, considered, regarded so. I thought so too. In those days, I had great respect for the opinion of my elders. It's okay. That is good childhood behavior. Father said, Lokunanda has more sraddha than all of us. Now, there are single Buddhist, especially Buddhist terms. Sraddha, devotion, English term devotion. Lokunanda never killed anything. Not even a mosquito. At once I saw her 
once I saw and once I saw her having uh, saving some ants that had fallen into a basin of water according to merits and demerits of uh, Buddhism killing even animals is a sin so Lokunanda saves those who are going to die but uh, those ants don't die because of uh, her action right though saving the life of other can be added to sin meritorious action in other way or even the most significant insignificant creatures benefited from Lokunanda's attention uh, these are some um, views from Jaina religion Nigantanatha Puttas because they uh, swept the road they sweep the road before those monks before they walk thinking that uh, animals will be trampled to their feet right uh, Lokunanda never stole she had a large house and a garden a lot of jewelry and small coconut property in Mathara she has uh, inheritance assets from her yes family right generation she had everything she wanted. She never lied. Lying is also sin according to Buddhism. The first uh, five precepts we observe. Mm, I precept the, I take the precept of abstaining from killing and again abstaining from lying. Yes. Mm. She often said she never did. Of course, we will behave, believe her, believed her, we believed her. Lokunanda's conduct was always irreproachable. His, her conduct, her behavior can't be followed, I mean, overtaken. Nobody can approach that. That part is uh, meritorious and exemplary. She was a broad woman, physical features a bit on the short side then very dark her nose and lips are very thick her skin coarse so though she is a lady her uh, appearance could be seen as a male according to uh, the story because uh, we can imagine a picture of Lokunanda only we can't see she had a large mole on the tip of her nose and another with the hair in it on her chin. Mahinda, the narrator, describes Lokunanda's physical appearance. Uh, un, yes. One of the specialties here is that Chitra Fernando uses so many singular terms. Right? Uh, at the back of her head was a very small conde, not of hair unless they were her relations Lokunanda kept all men at a safe distance and they kept Lokunanda at an equally safe distance there is also action and reaction though relatives Lokunanda kept a safe distance from males and since uh, male relatives of the family corporation New Lokunanda's behavior, they too maintain a safe distance. So, the uh, one action, Lokunanda's action, is reacted by the male relatives. There is one thing we have to decide. Hmm. Lokunanda is a misanthrope, one way. She doesn't like men, she, men. she detests men, she abhors men, right? And she also transfers that to others, right? In a singular, another uh, singular poet's right, uh, adjutant stock uh, poem. In that adjutant stock poem also, uh, we could see the same thing. There is an aunt, there is an aunt, uh, aunt is a misanthrope. She sends all girls to convent, she's a Christian, to make them 
sisters, right? Dokunanda is also that type. There is no uh, procedure to keep safe distance from male relatives if they are relations. And they kept, yes, she had never married. That is the way she had never married. She didn't marry because she is a misanthrope. She always believes that uh, living with a man, right? Uh, is, yes, living a sexual life with a man is a sin. Uh, Gautama the Buddha never told, never preached such a thing, right? Uh, Gautama the Buddha always preached how to spend successful marriage lives, right? There are uh, some sutra preachings also, right? Giving advice to females, right? Uh, in that, uh, Buddha preaches them to how to uh, treat husband and husband's parents and relatives like that. Mm. As for drinking, no. Some other thing is that Prince Siddhartha was also a person who spent a married life. Right? How many years? He was married in 16. He left... Uh, House in his age 29, that is called Great Renounce. He made the Great Renounce in his 29, right? Mm. In Buddhism, ne, ne, uh, it, such a thing is never taught not to remain unmarried. As for drinking or smoking, even the thought of uh, doing either of these things made me want to laugh. Lopananda's uh, preachings, advice about smoking and drinking also made me laugh. Now, he was a, yes, that time, Mahinda, the narrator, begins his story in his uh, university days. When the story begins, Mahinda was a student in University of Peradeni. Now, uh, next, the narrator speaks about Punchinanda also. Fathers, Another sister, second sister, Punchinanda, Lopunanda's younger sister. Right? Uh, she has also absorbed the same qualities of her elder sister. Right? She takes after her qualities. She resembles her behavior. Right? That means Punchinanda. Punchinanda, once Punchinanda caught Siripal and me sharing a cigarette in the back garden school time incident and the first thing she said was how disappointed Lokunanda will be mind because Lokunanda right uh, acquired a prominent place in the family corporation she was the head in that family corporation everyone respected her she maintained that uh, dignity you are only 15 but you are already doing all these bad things. These words are correct in 15 school boy. I, yes, uh, that means the narrator goes to the past time. Yes, it is a bad thing for 15 to smoke. 15, no, whatever age, bad. Then she told the father about, and father said, I will not have smoking. I will not have smoking in this house. Mm. And then he told Lokunanda about about to Lokunanda, looked at me in silence. You see, the father told that to Lokunanda because father couldn't advise. Right? That responsibility was handed over to father's elder sister because she is the right head of family. She said, Mahinda, there is no need for me to tell you anything. Why should I say anything? Your own karma will deal with you. This story uh, contains karma. Okay, results of what we do. That is one of the teachings of Buddhism. Right? Uh, our karma in this life, right? 
will be uh, resulted in next life according to buddhism there is a previous birth and uh, next life too transmigration right transmigration we have we believe reincarnation through the uh, transmigration we are reincarnated life to life in buddhism also that is taught about karma karma our karma contains uh, both merits and demerits mm. uh, in dhammapada yamaka vagga 16 it is said ida tappati pecha tappati kata paapo ubyata tappati paapam me katandi tappati bijo tappati duggatin gato that is a pali stanza talking about karma and evils mm. whatever we commit as sins are uh, rotated bef uh, behind us as a cartwheel behind the bull throughout the migration. In the uh, same Dhammapada, according to Buddhism, there is another stanza, Idanandati, Pechanandati, Katapunyo, Ubiatanandati, Punyame, Katanandati, Biyotanandati, Sugatingato. Those who collect or gather merits right will be going behind that man throughout the transmigration life to life lokunanda's uh, theory is also this writer focuses that but uh, lokunanda has misunderstood that her perception is not always correct mm. smoke as much as you like when you get lung cancer, you will know all about it. Huh? That is the action and reaction. One action, smoking. Reaction, getting lung cancer. So title is eligible to this place. This gratification of the senses bring only disease, death and sansara. Sansara is the English word I said, transmigration. Don't way i didn't warn you don't say i didn't warn you right Dokunanda, draw beating and threatening mind taking examples from buddhism punjinanda who was listening nodded vigorously and said punjinanda always seconds the things that her elder sister says I hope you have taken all this in mind. You may have understood this. No need to look at the other way. We are advising you for your own good. I often wish they were less concerned with my own good, but I could say nothing. Being a child, he could say nothing. I continued to look at the other way. Punchinanda was also unmarried then. Punchinanda was also unmarried. According to Punjinanda, marrying and making children is a sin, right? In any religion, such a thing is not told. As I mentioned previously, Buddhism never does so. Punjinanda was also unmarried and uh, she had the house. So she had no household of her own. She had no her own household, household but though... She always, she was always singing Lokunanda's phrases. She had a strange preference for living in our house. Punchinanda was always singing phrases of her sister, but she didn't like to live with the elder sister. Understand? There's a contradic contradiction, the reality and uh, pretension. Right, though Funchinanda pretends that she likes Lokunanda, actual thing is that she doesn't like. At the time of cigarette smoking incident, she was always talking about yet another instance of Lokunanda's generosity and compassion. Lokunanda's character is always highlighted as generous and compassionate. Lokunanda's good deeds were uncountable. 
So everyone was quite certain that at the very least she could be sure of a place in the Tusita heaven, right? That is also one belief of Buddhists. We believe Tusita heaven, which, which is the better one to uh, go after death. Heaven and hell is also a belief in Buddhism. Uh, but this instance of Lakunanda's generosity was an, not an arms giving. Lakunanda is a lady who is uh, preparing arms giving for monks. But uh, in, when we proceed with the story, we will learn a lot of things about Lakunanda's generosity, that it is not uh, realistic. It is non-realistic. Sometimes Lakunanda is devoted. Her devotion is wrong. The way she admits the religion is wrong. That's what I say here. Know anything about the Buddhism? It was not a special puja, puja offering. It was not donating a loudspeaker to the temple for the relay of the daily banner, treating so that all the Payagala townsfolk could not but benefit from the loudness of Lakunanda's piety. Now, uh, when we read this story, we come to know one thing. Lakunanda expects something from everything. She expects something from what she does. For example, uh, she expects a better life in next time, next life, through her meritorious deeds. That is a common belief of Buddhists. But there is a selfish hope, wish. We should give something to someone without hoping anything. Right? But she hopes merits. That is something common. I am not criticizing that. Uh, she has donated a loudspeaker. She donated that not for nothing. That uh, everyday relaying of Pirit and Bana sermon. Uh, uh, El Elder Monk always uh, mentions her name. This loudspeaker was uh, donated by Payagala Harmony. She likes it. She likes it. Then she uh, receives a self uh, bliss through that. That is also religious. Her religious action at last will give her most unwanted reaction. The, uh, this was a meritorious deed which was much better. Now Mahindra is going to tell something. Lokunanda was going to adopt a little girl from Matara. Now, of course, as a daughter, Lakunanda is unmarried. Such unmarried uh, women, sometimes they adopt uh, girls as their daughters because they have money, property. No one expected even Lakunanda to give, go to such length. Hmm? It was unthinkable that Todi Tapper's child could be Lakunanda's daughter and therefore our relatives. Now that girl Lakunanda is going to adopt is a daughter of a toddy tapper. Therefore, toddy tapper's daughter could be our relative through the means of Lakunanda adopting will be a disgrace for families, he thinks. Uh, Lakunanda had, uh, had took much consideration, too much common sense for that. He exaggerates Lakunanda's lady with common sense because family regarded so. She was a very practical woman. Kusuma was to come to her house as a servant, not actually then daughter as a servant. There was a little girl that time. Little girls from poor families were brought to aristocratic settings as uh, servants. That was a common event in uh, 60th, 70th decades. Girls were uneducated. Families were burdened with many children. Nangi and I were. Nangi means uh, Mahinda's sister. Uh, that's why I said the writer 
using onomatopoeia. Nang onomatopoeia mean this type of words, yes. Nangya naiva at Lokunenda's house the morning she arrived now. Kusuma, her name is Kusuma. Her father said, was 12, but she looked about 9. Father said she was 12, but looked about 9. The reason, she was a malnourished girl, right, with the uh, small frame of body. She was small and skinny, huh? small and skinny because no food. And the huge eyes were half filled her little face. You understand that. Again, the writer shows how far Kusuma was undernourished. Lice crawled in her curly black hair, negligence. You no know, one to attend this girl properly. One reason, parents who other thing, they had many children. There was a saw wound on her knee. In the village she had lived in a hut. One of eight children now. Family had eight children. But father, toddy tapper. Therefore, half stout. Beaten and bullied. Also beaten and bullied. Parents uh, harassed them also. In Lokunanda's spacious house. Lokunanda's house is a spacious one. There was the comfort of good food. She had good food. Uh, good clothes and suitable wage deposited in a post office savings account. At that time, uh, there were post office books. I don't know now it is there. Villagers deposit their money, 10 rupees, 5 rupees in post office books. Even our parents at that time deposited 2 rupees, 10 rupees in our books. As mother said, what more could any sane servant expect. It was, we all felt, the perfect sum total of a servant's happiness. Right? Because that is a great thing for a poor girl. Father said, that girl must have done a lot of merit in her past life. So father also believes this religious theory. Just imagine after living like an animal in that hut to come to a house like Akkas. Uh, once he lived in a hut, now coming to Akkas house because that is a palace, Akka means sister. Mm. Must be like a heaven to her was mother's contribution. Now family members are uh, my relatives are talking about Lokunanda's action. This is also one Lokunanda's action, bringing this girl. Right? Another action is also there. Total reaction is Lokunanda's destruction. She had not been, she had, uh, she has not bad looking. She was not bad looking and uh, with all the good food she will be eating, she will soon fill out. They are talking, she will soon fill out. I hope uh, she is not going to be greedy and steal. Children are greedy at that time, poor children are greedy. Also they stole like sugar, biscuit. Yeah. That must be firmly stopped right from the start. Now, stealing must be firmly stopped right from the start. Punchinanda did the best to see that. Everyone observed the second precept. Stealing. Ah, five precepts. Second is, I take the precept of abstaining from stealing. You know it. First is, I take the precept of abstaining from killing. Second, stealing. Third, adultery. Like that. Mm. Punchinanda did her best to see that everyone observed the second precept. They are two religious. Buddhists take uh, five precepts, morning and evening. But do, uh, breaking all the things, all the five uh, precepts throughout the day. Right? 
days started with that but soon after they break uh, don't worry akka knows how to deal with stealing akka knows it she will uh, do that she gives her servants so much for them to misbehave is just pro wickedness nothing else as she always says rightly no one can escape the karmic law father said firmly mahinda's father also agrees lokunanda's karmic law right anyway lokunanda is a woman who has misunderstood religion right not only lokunanda but also punchinanda right there is a religious competition here later we know perfection of giving earlier title later became action and reaction whatever action we do for religion we have no reaction now our temples have been built in ne they have been building our temples for more than 2500 years yet not finished every day today da gaber next day Uh, promenade next day parapet other day um, shrine room um, monastery like that uh chitravnand was to show that our most buddhists have misunderstood the religion for example they are wrapping robes around uh, their gobas Gautama Buddha didn't tell such things, right? A week later, Lakshmananda came to our house with Kusuma. Already we noticed an improvement in her appearance within one week. She has eaten. Her hair was clean and lice-free. Lakshmananda cleaned it. When she had arrived, she had been wearing a badly sewn shabby frock. How she wore close-fitting white cotton blouse. uh and a pretty flowered and red white cloth now she is uh, wearing a cloth and jacket that time hmm? everyone complimented lokunanda on her good work she looked very satisfied hmm? because uh, everyone complimented her. that is also one reaction her action treating that girl one reaction is getting admiration of others i know how to treat my servants that's why they never leave my house salpi has been with me for 15 years now another servant all servant called salpi she has been with lokunanda 50 years uh that was perfectly this was perfectly true lokunanda did treat her servants well they enjoyed a fair bit of comfort in the house the full effect of lokunanda's generosity to kusuma appeared in about 3 months time when uh, as time went on after 3 months or like that they could understand lokunanda's real generosity in that time she seemed to have grown taller fair and certainly very much fuller girl kusuma Lokunanda often said there was nothing wrong with the appetite. Lokunanda said nothing wrong with the appetite. She eats as much as Salpi, and doesn't she love sweets? Right after giving a person to eat, right talking about that is also not suitable. Punchinanda said, "Now don't spoil her. She advises her sister. I hope she." want to steal have you caught at it ever no she is a bit greedy but i give her plenty to eat again she says i give her plenty to eat so she really has no need to steal all all is talking about stealing if she steals will you beat her lokunanda as nangi with interest normal for the first time we uh, know the name mala 
Mahinda sister's name. I don't beat anyone. You know that. I will know what to do. I always follow the karmic law. It is my constant guide. Her constant guide is karmic law. She didn't marry because of the karmic law. If married, she could sleep with a man on a bed. That is uh, bad according to her perception, sinful. Uh, she had to produce children then. That is also bad. Mm. No, Mala. I don't beat anyone. Ah, yes. I was sometimes puzzled by Lakunanda's way of talking about karmic law. I was puzzled about Lakunanda's talking about karmic law. Of course, we all knew about karma. I remembered very well what the monk in the temple used to say. Everyone had to take the consequence of his action in one way or another according to priests, monks' uh, preaching. If you wanted to uh, too many things, your desire should make you linger in samsara. The, that is also one action and reaction. If you, according to uh, Buddhism, um, if we have so many desires that will linger us in samsara, transmigration, what is the ultimate uh, uh, vision, if not uh, vi ultimate uh, desire of Buddhists? After death of a Buddhist person, what is mentioned in the banner? Yes. Uh, may he attend Nibbana. Therefore, the supreme bliss of transmigration, the Buddhist expect is uh, Nibbana. That is called supreme bliss of Nibbana. Monks also says, uh, at the end of briefing sansara, transmigration, may he attain Nibbana. In singala sasara kilavara amamaha nirvana sampatti labeva. That means transmigration in sansara can be longer or shorter. That depends on our actions according to Buddhism. That is the karmic law. The writer is uh, sat satirical towards that, not Buddha's preaching but the way our Buddhists follow it. That's what the monk said, but wasn't sure that I understood. Because Lokunanda, who was wise, seemed to want a lot in return for what she did. That is the contradictory. That is hostile to her uh, preaching. Right? She uh, expected a lot. That is hypocrisy, selfish, right? According to Buddhism, man should be in, uh, should not be introvert. Man should be altruistic, thinking about others. <laughs> in those days, I didn't bother too much about such things. I had many more important things to think about, like how to dodge Pali classes. Huh? I had. Uh, a way to avoid Pali classes or oh, and uh, means of smoking without being caught and lectured to. Those are the things I wanted to manage. Lokunanda was pleased with Kusuma. She was intelligent and learned quickly. She soon learned to be neat and clean. Earlier she was not neat and clean after arriving here. She learned that. She was very helpful in the house. She dusted the furniture, or Lokunanda's cow debony chairs and couches in the sitting room. That's a rich house, uh, furnished richly. She cleaned all the brass trays, lamps and vases. She was very good at fetching and carrying. Going to well and drinking water like that. That time there were no tap lines. Lokunanda wondered whether she should teach Kusuma to read or write. Lokunanda wondered if she is a generous lady. 
if she is uh, that far bountiful or compassionate, why should she hesitate to teach uh, uh, read and write to Kusuma? She thought about a bit. Then she told us that to teach uh, Kusuma how to crochet would be more would be more useful. Ne? Crochet weaving things. Lace table mats were in great demand and fetched a very good price. But uh, we can't uh, deny Lokunanda as uh, uh, extremely selfish because she thinks about uh, Kusuma's future also. Because one day she will die, then uh, she will have no help, Kusuma. So she can depend on her crocheting, uh, table mats and those things. Lokunanda was a very practical woman according to the narrator. After Kusuma's arrival, Nangi began to visit Lokunanda almost every day because Nangi has no uh, same age playmate. Therefore, she wanted to meet Kusuma. Kusuma knew very little. At that time, girls were not educated. They were not uh, learning. So, Nangi began to feel very wise, though she knew very little herself. Nangi knew very little, but she seemed to be wise. I was, of course, the really wise one among the younger lot. Now, he uh, exaggerates himself as, uh, I was, of course, the really wise one among the younger lot. In those days, we all, thought, uh, we all thought ourselves very wise. That's self-criticism. But uh, everyone... But everyone acknowledged Lokunanda to be the wisest. This was her own opinion as well, naturally. Lokunanda's own opinion as well. Right, dear students, uh, I will take uh, other video or two to complete the story like this because it is uh, beneficial for you to read uh, line by line and explain because you have to write at the exam. Uh, Take some quotations, write it in another book and study them, mug up them. Mug up mean learn by heart. Then it would be beneficial for you to acquire more marks. Getting a pass is not difficult for literature. However, annually, there are about 1,900 students sitting for exam. Uh, last year, I think there were 19 a passes only. That is not because uh, your teacher's problem. Not because you are uh, syllabus, you know syllabus, you become thorough with that. But hmm, your language problem is the barrier. Creative writing, vocabulary, hmm, and a standard in writing, academic type writing. Therefore, you have to develop writing also. Therefore, as I say, uh, I always ask my student to copy down these things in another book. Take uh, some papers, mm, old books, and always write something. Always try to write. You understand? You have to develop your writing too, because uh, writing speed will also be important at the exam, any English exam. Right? Sometimes you may tell that uh, word by word I told, I don't want to show my colors. You understand? I want to teach you, give you some knowledge. You understand word by word, though, sentence by sentence. So, if you get a pass, that's a uh, great thing. Do you understand? Uh, teaching means teaching. Right. Okay. Therefore, uh, today I wind up here. I will meet you in other video to continue the story. Have a nice day. Goodbye.